guys and welcome to my first YouTube video, hopefully one of many of my embarrassing story times about myself. Um, so obviously you all know why you're here, um, you come from the Katie Price uh, video. Um, obviously I will tell that story in the next video I make one here. Um, unfortunately it does get worse than her calling me autistic. <sighs> yeah. Um, anyway, so obviously you're all here for my cult video series. Um, I would have explained more on TikTok, but obviously it is hard to explain in 60 seconds. You'd end up with hundreds of videos. Um, I will try to keep this short because obviously I don't want to bore anyone. Um, so obviously a lot of questions got asked on the, up the second video I uploaded. So I've tried to like break it down to like the main ones. So obviously a lot of people were asking what series it was on. So the series was meant to be a new series um, filmed in 2014, which was when I was 16 years old, um, which someone kind of pointed out on the video. I'm not... So like I said, meant to air in 2014, it didn't actually end up airing. It was meant to be a new series, but um, obviously for the reasons I'm going to explain, um, never happened. And it actually meant that the whole series didn't air. We were actually episode three um, and they cancelled the series and the production team decided not to continue. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, obviously, a lot of people also asked about Katie. Um, in terms of Katie, I tried to contact her on social media I tried to find her um I, the person who I'm referring to is Katie um I'm not naming because obviously I can't track her down um I'm not sure what she's doing in life I'm not sure who she is now like I, I know nothing about her At the, this also links to like um a lot of people ask me why I was on the show and to be totally honest even when I ask my parents now there's no clear-cut answer I wasn't like a bad kid I wasn't horrendous at school like Probably the worst things I did was have like tantrums into my late teens, which I, I was just a brat, basically. That's where that came from. And I don't know, like there was no clear cut reason. Whereas with Katie, she was your typical like drinking, smoking, drugs sort of teenager. And that's why she was on there. So when I actually met Katie, it was very difficult to get on with her because we came from completely different backgrounds and completely different walks of life. So we just were never some people that were going to carry on speaking after the show and obviously the show did actually only last that we only stopped left it filming for five days so it meant that we didn't really bond that much and a lot of the time was spent like laughing at the family because we just thought it was funny at the time um apart from like a few things that happened so yeah never really knew katie that well and i haven't kept in contact with her otherwise i would love for her to give her view on this as well so a lot of people have been asking about us telling the producers or the film crew. The film crew weren't really that involved. It was more the producers. And the producers only came two of the days. And on the sixth day, which was meant to be like our sixth and like, penultimate day to filming, um, that was when we spoke to them, explained what happened. They pulled us straight out, took us back to the hotel. And we... God. No, so let's just shut the window. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, they, they pulled us out um, on the sixth day. We went back to the hotel. And then on the seventh day, which was meant to be our last day of filming, we were flown back to the UK. Um, a lot of people were asked about compensation. My family never went down that route. Like I said, I didn't keep in contact with Katie or her family. Don't know where she is, don't know what she's doing. So I couldn't answer whether that was something that was offered, but we certainly didn't get offered or take it. Um, as it was a new production company, it was separate from the old series. So it had like, I, I don't know like what route, like a more professional company would have gone down, but ours was a smaller um, broadcasting show that it was going to be produced by. Um, a lot of it was also staged, like you said. So people, it wasn't so much staged. We'd be told to stand in certain positions or go to certain areas of the house for certain shots. So, for instance, with Katie, like I said, she was a much more like your typical badly behaved teen. Um, there was, I remember specifically, there was a scene where she had gone outside to smoke, and I just found it funny at the time. Like, um, I didn't see it as like a, oh God, like she's killed someone sort of thing. Um, but equally, I didn't really affect me um she went outside without anyone knowing but the film crew made a point to go and tell the family so then the family came and argued with her then i ended up arguing with the family completely irrelevant but just it caused a big rift in the in the dynamics of everyone that's there so yeah in that sense it is very dramatized but it's not scripted it's just 
dramatised, in a sense, if you get what I mean. A lot of questions also have come at me about the second meal. The second meal, as I said the whole time, was not that weird. The only reason I mentioned it in the first video, which I didn't think was going to explode like it did, was because to me at the time, as a 16-year-old British boy, it was a bit strange that we were having a second meal at nine o'clock at night. Like, it just was a bit strange. Like, you've got in your bedtime routine, we've been shown to our rooms, we come back down. But obviously, we did it as part of a courtesy. Katie was a bit more, like, stroppy with it. But I just thought, to be polite to these new people, um, actually, going down that point, for me going there, I found it very awkward that people would act in a way that would be rude and bad behaved in someone else's house. And I couldn't understand it. So I personally never acted like that whilst we were there. Um, apart from that one argument, like I said, with Katie outside. Um, but no, I, couldn't, I can never understand when I watch those shows back and the other series, how they act like that to people they don't know. It, to me, that's crazy because it's not, like I said, scripted in a way where they're told to argue. So there is no excuse for that rudeness. So a lot of people, like I can understand, I would want to see it too, are asking about where they can see footage of it. I personally don't have any footage. Um, it was obviously never aired. The whole season was never aired. I've tried to track it down within the last few weeks and I can't find any information about the company that we um, were broad we're going to be broadcasting it. I can't find any information about the producers. I can't find anything. So if someone can, amazing, but I can't find anything. Um, but it would be great if someone could find that out. I mean, if Katie is watching this, it would be great if you could contact me because I would love to know what's going on and if you can got anything out of it or you've spoken to anyone or have any footage like that would be amazing. So Katie, if you're watching, message me. So obviously a big part of that video that I made also was when I said about them being a cult. So obviously, like I said, the second meal, very strange to me, but I went along with it, whatever. I assumed it was just because they were religious, so I didn't want to disrespect them in any way, so I went along with it. Um... And obviously, I'd never even been outside the UK at that point in my life. So I didn't know about any other cultures. I didn't know if it was a, like a difference in culture or religion. I had no clue. So I went along with it. That was that. Um, on the on various days, like the third and the fourth day, though it got progressively stranger, which I will talk about in another video. Um, I don't want to bore you in one video. Um, on the fifth day, was we went to bed, which, like I said, on the first night... I don't know if I've said this already, but on the first night we went to bed. Me and Katie had already been shown our own rooms by the film um, crew earlier on in the day. Um, normal room, bed, wardrobe, etc. Um, they actually both had on suites, so quite nice. I think that's quite a regular thing in America. I'm not sure. If you're from America, can you let me know? Because I don't know if that's right. But um, yeah, quite a common thing as far as I know. Um, the whole family, however, on the first night we saw this, slept in one room on the bare wooden floor in the room next to me. Bare wooden floor, no beds, no sheets, no blankets, nothing. Just in their clothes on the bare wooden floor. So that rang alarm bells. I then woke up to like shouting on the fifth night, which was the, the last night that we were there before we got pulled out and taken back to the hotel by the producers after we explained what was happening. I woke up and being me and not impolite and I didn't want to break their house rules I was very reluctant to go and tell Katie and like go and get that help almost not help but like reassurance that it wasn't just me that was seeing this that someone else was there and like we could help each other um but anyway I, I went and got Katie I ran into her room she was asleep I woke her up and I got her to look out the window we looked out the window and the family so there was obviously the two twin sisters um, both their daughters who were slightly younger than us um, and I put a video up of them and I put a photo up because I found a photo of the family of the daughters and it's been deleted off TikTok I'm not sure why TikTok deleted that video but it's gone um, but I will attach a photo of the twins in a next video on YouTube because um, I don't know if it's because it wasn't a photo of me I, I don't know how that works on TikTok um, but yes, I will upload a photo. So back to my story. So I'm looking out the window of Katie. I'm shitting myself. And we look out the window and there's like a fire, which is what originally drew me to look out the window when I was, well, when I woke up from the shouting. Um, and the family were wear, all wearing green robes, 
no hats, just neck down, all green like satin is the only way I can think to describe it, with like gold emblems on it. And they were all dancing, not dancing, like, I don't know how to describe it, chanting and like making strange movements around the fire. And obviously we told this to producers, the producers like looked into it more and I don't know whether they found something out about the family, um, but we also told them all the strange goings on the days before and I showed them the photos of me dressed up. They the producers didn't like it. I don't think they felt comfortable with the fact that they'd taken responsibility for us and they, in all honesty, weren't really there a lot for us. So, um, yeah, we were pulled out, taken back to the hotel and flown back on the seventh day to our houses. Um, and my parents, when I asked them, can't really remember much either. They don't, it's almost like they don't want to remember, which I find oddly strange. So guys, obviously I did mention that I would tell you about Katie Price, but I am gonna do it in a separate video, probably on TikTok, just because it's quite a short story. But honestly, when I tell you it's funny, it is so bloody funny. Like, I, I can't explain it. It's also quite bad of her, what was said, but hey ho, it's hilarious. And it's another story, which is just embarrassing to my life. Um, but other than that, please, please subscribe down below and I promise you I will release more and more videos about my embarrassing life stories and you will not regret it. But, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching to the end and I hope I haven't bored you. Um, and yeah, I will try and upload more on TikTok and on here more recently, but, uh, bye.